Good morning, everyone. And today we're going to look at a, a video in which we're going to learn about words that are going to be uh, that are repeated in the previous papers of Cape Gemini. And also, we could expect them to be repeating in this year's Cape Gemini test as well. So we are going to learn it through a simple method, which means uh, basically many a times what happens is a student learns a uh, learns a vocabulary by uh, using it more often, or maybe connecting it to something. Connecting it to something can actually help you in learning the uh, word much more quickly than you normally uh, memorize it. So I'm going to use that kind of a technique today, and I'm just going to connect it to one particular. Uh, individual or maybe one particular theme and through which we could learn many vocabularies okay so we'll get started so our vocabulary uh, that we have today is uh, connected around a homeless person it is connected around a homeless so firstly we we'll get started with the vocabulary that we have right now is about a homeless person so a homeless person is normally called as a waif so a person who's homeless is normally termed as a waif and uh, and we have the next word that we, we have here is going to be a homeless person who's normally uh, who's not considered to be a destitute not considered to be destitute is a person who's not rich enough okay you don't have a lot of money i mean destitute is a person who's rich who has a lot of money so a person who is not considered to be destitute means a person who will not have a lot of money and uh, have a problem in day-to-day -day life of his so wave is a neglected person or probably a person who doesn't have a home so that person is considered to be having this characteristic of being uh, of not having a lot of money or not uh, not a person who's considered or recognized or reckoned in his social life so instead the person instead of being destitute is considered to be beggared beggared or pen penniless so penniless or beggared means a person who's poor who's not rich enough so a person who's not rich enough is called as beggared which means doesn't have a lot of things which you can talk about which means especially in the terms of money so and the life that he leads is not transient when they say it is not transient what does that mean is it is not temporary the life that is leading is not temporary. Transient is being shot or temporary. So this life of his is not transient. Reason being, he doesn't have a lot of money. He doesn't have a social life through which he can learn, earn a lot of money. So next we could get into his food. So the food that he has is not going to be garnished. Garnish is a word which means, uh, which is decorated. The food that he's going to have is not going to be decorated. So majorly it could be musty. Musty. What do we mean by musty? So musty means something which is not fresh, something which is having a bad odor or smell. So it doesn't look very uh, good for us to eat as well. So he has something like that because of which he looks emaciated. Emaciated means a person who's weak because of lack of food or maybe because of some uh, health issues. So many a times the homeless looks to be emaciated because of the starving that he goes through and also maybe because he doesn't have enough uh, energy to move forward so because to take care of his health so that is emaciated and on the social life of his when we consider what happens is many a time a homeless is uh, even if he is known to do a misdemeanor a misdemeanor is a small wrongdoing a small mistake or a small uh, uh, wrong if he's known to do something, I mean, if he is understood to be uh, understood that, okay, this person has done a mistake, probably what happens is that person is admonished badly. Admonished means he is warned very badly or maybe the person is taken under custody, probably reprimanded. So the person is reprimanded just because he is more of a waif. Okay. So the concerns uh, is given more of a protest. People treat him very badly. Okay, and this leads to, uh, and even if this leads to some people trying to help him out, the help that he gets is going to be dilatory. Dilatory is uh, a delayed help, a help that doesn't get you give you any kind of uh, satisfaction because the help that he gets is going to be delayed and it is not going to be on the spot just like another individual who's uh, economically good and standard and he's having a good social life. So that is termed as dilatory. And 
this would lead to grisly. This life of his would make him feel his life is grisly. Grisly means it is something which is like horrific and doesn't look, it's more of a disgusting life that he leads. So that is termed as grisly. And this lead to the person being pleomatic. Pleomatic is like more sedate, doesn't have any connection for his life. He's more self-possessed, which means he had, all that he has is himself alone. He doesn't have a lot of people around him with support or who can give him, help him to have a social life. That's why I just put this note saying that seeking whole human kindness. So many a times a wife is considered to be a person who is seeking human kindness. So I would like to put this video in such a way that this could help you. I believe this, uh, this video would have been helpful for you to learn 10 to 11 new words without any uh, big uh, disturbances or without any big, uh, 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 what do you call it? A big effort to learn words. So I would like to tell you guys that learn through this method. So it should be helpful for you guys to learn more vocabulary. In days to come, I'm going to post more videos which uh, would help you to learn for Cape Gemini, prepare for your Cape Gemini test. Okay. Thank you so much for your time and patience. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.